It was an historic moment. Proud, proudness, like, like I said, yeah, just to be part of it. They can haul space shuttles, they can haul a million pounds of cargo. It's just amazing what that plane can do. There's a part of us rolling out with this thing, you know. As this 747-8 freighter left the Everett production factory for the last time. That huge, huge facility, which by volume is the biggest in the world, is way underutilized. And it's going to be at least a decade <clears throat> before Boeing does another airplane. So what does Boeing do with that facility in the meantime? In a statement from Boeing, it says we will continue at the Everett site to create a long-term future for our teammates and industry. Boeing says all of their Everett programs are successful, but aviation expert Scott Hamilton says there are still questions. The A7 is now predominantly down in South Carolina. The 67 is just across a three airplane a month production rate. The 777 program is down to two a month versus eight a month and the 47 is gone. As far as the employees who spent years, for some decades, working on the clean of the skies. We work on different programs. We, I work after 747 on 787, 777X, so on the next thing, so we are, we are always busy here. Boeing says there will be no employee reductions as a result of 747 closeout. With one era ending, it leaves room for another new plane to take its place. This is what Boeing CEO and President David Calhoun had to say at the November 2022 Investors Conference. And then there'll be a moment in time where we'll pull the rabbit out of the hat and introduce a new airplane sometime in the middle of the next decade. And as far as what that new plane could look like, Calhoun said that it will likely have autonomous capabilities and we shouldn't expect it until the mid 2030s. At this point, no word on where that plane would be produced. Live here in Everett, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.